every good application has a settings page where a user can turn the music on and off, for example, continuing the theme of the last few tutorials we've done. And that's what we're going to do. I've already set up a settings activity Java class that's activated by clicking the settings button and it launches an intent. I know you're all confident in doing that yourselves now, so I'm not going to go over it, but I'll show you how it, it runs. So we'll click on the activity bar, hit settings, and it opens up the new activity and that, that's empty for now. And this is where we're going to put in all our radio buttons and switches to control our application. Let's jump straight into the code. Looking at the settings activity layout, we're going to continue the theme of the last few tutorials by controlling our sound pool play, the coin noise, the coin sound. And we're going to use radio buttons to, to do that. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to create radio buttons. First of all, we need a radio group and it's it can be found under containers. So we'll drag and drop that onto our layout. We're also going to need a radio button. We'll, we'll need two, but I'm only gonna drag and drop one. We'll just cut and paste inside the code. If we go down to text tab, we can see we have our radio group. Let's make some space and add our radio button inside the group. So your radio buttons must be inside a radio group. So here's the first one and here's the second one. And as usual, absolutely everything in Android that you want to interact with needs an identification, an ID. The group itself, we're going to call that settings, well, setting radio group and sound effects. We're going to pick our first radio button as the on sound. So uh, we'll, we'll rename that to setting radio button sound effects on. We may as well change the text of the radio button while we're here. So we'll just label that as sound effects on. And our second radio button will turn the sound effects off. And we'll call that settings off and adjust the text to reflect that sound effects off. That's all you need to do in your XML layout file to create radio buttons. If we go to the settings activity, we're going to have to create objects to link to the radio group and the radio button so we can interact with it. So at the class level, we're going to create a radio group object and a few radio button objects. Android Studio continually helps us to import these missing classes, so let's let's do that. And the other one. So now we've got a handle on our group, and it's called radio group underscore sound effects, and one for each button. Well, let's connect them. So on your onCreate method, when this class is initially started, we want to connect our objects to the layout sheet. And this is done in a similar way to every other connection we've done in other tutorials. So here we have the radio group and we find the view by ID and we find the label we've created. So setting radio group sound effect. And I'll just quickly refer back to the XML. Here's that ID we're referring to. And back in our settings class, we do the same for the buttons on and off. Let's hit save and run this. So here's our app. Let's take a look at the menu hit settings and this is our settings page and we can click these buttons and the very basic functionality at the moment is that one turns off as soon as you've selected the other one and that's because they're all part of the same group but it's not doing anything to our app it's not actually turning the sound on and off we'll be covering how to link this we'll be covering how to do this in the next few tutorials but this is all i want to cover in this one thanks for watching